Hey guys, video service information here. Working on a 2016 Ford Escape. Uh, the customer was complaining that the vehicle started but then cycled down and stalled on them. They restarted the vehicle and it drove, drove to work. Then they noticed a puddle under the car and a hot smell. Noticed the coolant was low, but they didn't get any overheating messages. So we've got this 16 Ford Escape in. Um, the vehicle's got around 68,000 miles. Did a coolant pressure test on it and we noticed a coolant drop. So there is an issue with these 1.5s, 1.6s, and 2 liters for coolant intrusion. So we've got the number 2 spark plug removed because I had a P0302 had an engine misfire on cylinder two. So we went right to that cylinder. And sure enough, we had coolant intrusion into the cylinder. And this is this has the old style Ford block. You can see how Ford has grooves here in between the cylinders. Right here. And you only have this little space of sealing surface on a boosted engine. So not on this particular one, but I have seen them crack uh, right here. And also you got cavitation here, this pitting of the, of the cylinder. So coolant going into the cylinder. Then also looking at the cylinder head here on this one six, you can see um, cavitation also in these spots here. So we see, you know, cavitation damage in these areas. Most likely occurring is that we got, you know, repeated pressure changes and movement between the metal and the fluid, which is causing this. Um, like I said, this is a boosted engine, turbocharged, and you got variance in cylinder pressures and, uh, you know, obviously a not good sealing surface here on the block, causing the coolant to get into it, bypassing over the cylinders and getting it down into, into the top of the piston here. Going over the TSB, uh, this one here particularly is for the 2 liter engine, but I've seen it across the board on the 1.5, 1 1.6, 1 and 2 liter. Actually, I've seen the 1 liter also with a cracked head, and I'll try to get the, that video on that one posted up soon. You can see where it says here in the TSB. Uh, I'll get it highlighted here for you guys. Basically, if you have the, the P0300 or any cylinder, particular cylinder misfire, 301 for, through 304, maybe due to coolant intrusion into the cylinder. Now, on the 2 liter and the 1.6, Ford tells you to replace the long block. I find it kind of funny because on the one five we have the same issue. And then they only tell you to replace the short block. I'll go ahead and pull up that TSB here. This one, you know, one five low coolant, wet exhaust smoke, and then we get coolant intrusion into the cylinder. Basically we get the same same block design with the grooves in between the cylinders. And Ford goes ahead and tells you just replace the short block on this one. Well, I come across one just the other day that they replaced the short block on a 1.5 with the new style block. And I'll pull up the image of the new style block. Go back to photos here. 
so you guys can see that. Now this is the new style block. Let's rotate this here. Now you can see how Ford's made some changes. You don't have the grooving in between the cylinders anymore. Now they drill in between the cylinders and now you get this ceiling surface here. But since the TSB stated only replaced the short block on this 1.5, Guess what? This customer went 15,000 miles and his vehicle came back because they reused the cylinder head on the new short block because that's what Ford outlined in the TSB. Only replaced the short block. Then this thing came back. Had about 15,000 miles on it. Same thing. Running rough. Misfires. Did a, uh, a uh, coolant test on it pressure test the, the system and sure enough it had coolant intrusion on cylinder two and like I said this is the new style block got another close up here you can see Ford has made this change which seems like a better design you know obviously on a boosted engine you want all the ceiling surface you can get on those head gaskets but they should have stated in the bulletin, replace long block, not short block. Now talking to this particular Ford tech on, on this issue, you know, this is a, as of uh, March 3rd, 2021. And he said he didn't know of any, uh, newer revisions to the TSB on the 1.5. The only one he knew of is this one I'm looking at right now. Basically replaced the short block on the 1.5 for coolant intrusion. So, you know, like I said, there's no revisions to it that I know of. If you guys know of a, of a revision on the 1.5 engine, put a comment in, uh, post something in the comments below to let me know. So basically, you gotta see something on the cylinder head on the 1.5 to uh, get it replaced and go through tech line to get an authorization number. So get paid under warranty on it. Because whatever's outlined in the bulletin, they'd only wanna pay for that that amount and not a cylinder head if, if there's nothing found wrong with it. Obviously, if you got cavitation in there and you can document that, then I'll warrant you replacing the cylinder head, but this particular one five, there wasn't anything wrong. I didn't visually see anything wrong with the with the uh, cylinder head on it, so I went ahead and just replaced that block. But then we're here, we're, we're back in the same situation again. If you guys want to see the actual um, cylinder crack in between these these grooves, like we had, like I had talked about, uh, we'll put up an end screen on the end of this video and I'll link it to the one where it shows the crack on a 2014 escape with the one six where you guys can actually see the crack. So guys, basically on the one five, the one six and the two liter, even though if the bulletin states short block only, and I don't see anything wrong visually with the cylinder head, I'm always going to recommend a long block just because you, you know, when you have a coolant intrusion issue you, with the temperature changes and the expansion of the cylinder head onto the existing block. To me, it's just good practice just to recommend a whole long block when you have an issue like this. That way everything's mated newly together and and hopefully hopefully this new style block fixes the issue. But, you know, looking at that 1.5 the other day, it uh, in a situation where they didn't replace the head and it come back again, which, you know, it's unfortunate. 
So I'm just recommending long blocks on the one five, one six, and two liters from here on out. Hey, thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you'll get notified every time I put a new video up. Have a nice day.